point of view. To me, just light and airy. I like it. I like living here. You know, I'm to view it's one word, I would say a mixture. mixture. Do you know what I mean? Because it's a mixture. It is a mixture yeah. of people, a mixture of moods as well, really. I think in flats you all live on top of each other. Well, you are literally. Yeah. It's a laugh, like, it's a laugh in here, but you're boxed in. You know what I mean? You have your own freedom. It's too crowded. You have your own space. And it won't change, yeah. I mean, the area's not good, but this block is just different to the rest. So I used to live in the other, on the other side as well years ago, and it was bad then, but now it's quiet. Mm. But this block is actually a nice block compared to the rest of it. Um, it ain't too bad, it could be better. I just think it's a block, it's a block of flats, that's it. Yeah. It's a communal place, this is. It's not like you're living in a house. Back in the day, it would work. I think it's quite down. It's quite for a lot. It's quite down, but still the same. For me, that would be useful. Um, the the build, but well, the the project in itself is useful. Um, so yeah, for me it's useful. It's not far from town. It's really, really. I mean, I never catch. You know, I rarely catch a bus. You got all the local amenities, all yeah, shops. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, Wolverhampton's a five ten minute walk. It's not like. Um, I think it's a good flat, really. You know what I mean? I do like living in flats. I think that people come here from all walks of life, and everywhere you're going to live in a block of flats, you're going to get this problem. This is not like a posh area. Like, you don't go see so many good people that you got to put noise music down or something. You've got to see that as people come from all walks of life down here, they've got a different mentality, and they're going to do different things, so you've got to get used to it as this is not like their good place like that. I think they should vet the people more before they let them come in here. Uh, find a bit more about them because a lot of the people who come in here and I think these two gentlemen agree than down and outs. I don't, I don't, it's not their fault, we're not blaming them. But some of them don't want to change, do they? Hampton View is more of a project where people who have had it a bit hard yeah, I'm not where they can them. try and get themselves back on, back on the feet. feet. So, you know, it, you're going to get every single different type of people This is in like here. my first home, you know what I mean? I'm living like independently, but um, I don't know, it's not what I thought it'd be like, you know what I mean? It's still a struggle like, but it's just, like I said, different. But people on each block that is suitable for each block. Because if you work hard, you have people who do not work and they are the ones that cause trouble. Because 22 at the moment, if I get a job, I've got to pay for all my college courses. Um, so, 50-50. I want to work, but I rather do my college courses because my long-term goal is to be a drugs worker. As Century Housing as a company, there is quite a good company and they've got really nice flats like, from inside. And they've got good, like, outside and concrete, they've got a security guard. Very good. <coughs> good but the point is, if a person's got a job or he's happy in living down here, then he can live here for, like, as long as he wants. And then he can adjust himself with other people who are living down here. If you want to go out and talk, if you're going to keep yourself to yourself, and you're not going to, like, go out and talk to other people, and you're not going to work down here. Maybe if you, you're going to move out. But it depends on a person. I mean, I'm up here, but I have my off day as well. It's still there, I think. God, I'm telling you, it. You know. I, I don't really mix with anybody. I keep myself to myself. So I live in my own little world. <laughs> it's a play. When I lived over there, it was like, when she get in, it's like there's nowhere else exists. It's just you mean here and that's it. And nobody out there respects anybody that comes from Eve Town. Even if you are respectable, they don't care. It's just a palace card. Most people haven't mm -hmm. got a very good opinion of it. But I've lived in Eve Town about 30 years. And I think it's quieter now than it's all. Then it's We're been. sort of used to it now, but uh, I think again, I've seen, I've seen people come in, they've lasted a month, and they've gone again. You know? For sure, I'm really. I mean, from my like my I admit that my view from my flat on the ninth floor is like half the vision compared to the twentieth. Yeah. 
I mean, because there, it goes, because you are up, it goes back even more. And uh, from here, you get to see vision of Wolverhampton that not many people get to see, really. That's mm. living there, you know. And I like that. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I like. I like that I don't feel cute. So I've never, never lived in a block of flats before. You know, I've got round the surroundings round me, like the outside. And it's, I want a garden. Well, I have, but it's, you can't be seen much, but well, I'm not making the top floor. I go there sometimes. I know it's really okay. Beautiful. I see all the lights. Up here, you, and you've got the vision, the, mm. where you, the train's going, the, the, just watching. I mean, I really like. I mean, I've lived in some places which are beautiful, beautiful views. So I'm not saying it's like on that league, but for what I can see, and at the night time, what about if you look at all the lights as well? Yeah. It's like a little mini Las Vegas, really, but without all the colour. I don't know, they keep losing good tenants uh, before long, all their lads is them that come and go. So I can't see it being looked after. The only very. way this place is really built for is if when you're on benefits it's just to get you together get into a career which you want to be in and I, I understand that yeah okay fair there's enough there's people been in here for 15 years people so have been yeah no of course no. some people like it in here I, I don't mind it being in here I'm not trying to say that you can there's a there's a time limit on when you've got, you 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 can, you know, you can be here. I mean, people yeah, who no, live here for so long, they think that it's their home and they get they're used to it, so they want to live here. But maybe new people who come down here, they can't find more opportunities down here, and they just want to move out of here. This is the point. It is not just about the building; it's just about what life is and what they want to do out. So if they're going to find jobs or something. With me, it is the same thing. I can't find a job in Wolverhampton, so I do want to move out of the city. It is not that I don't like the building. I like the building, I like the flat, I like everything. But I haven't got a job down here. I can't find a job down here. So I just don't want to live down here. Well, it's like, it's about moving and changing that. Yeah. It's not about being stuck in the same place. Because then you get in a rut anyway, whereas yeah. you've, got to, you've got to move in your life, haven't you? And that's how you become more adaptable and flexible and so oh, it's a good thing to move around yeah. it's something I think the problem is when people do are static you know this place gives you an opportunity an opportunity which you wouldn't otherwise have um, so that's that's what I see Hampton View as I, I'm not gonna say that I want to live here in five years time but I think that everything is always changing. So because it's always changing, I don't really honestly see myself here in five years' time. I would like to think that I would have progressed. Well, I don't think I would leave. You know, even if when I win the lottery, yeah, that will. I'm a <laughs>